In climate watch, Hurricane Irma hit the Florida Keys with full force more than four years ago, but the devastation is still front and center. And now volunteers are trying to rebuild the region and replant some of the fragile ecosystem with trees that are key to fighting climate change. CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli explains. The hurricane brought in mountains of seagrass from the ocean. On top of that, there was pollution in it. I mean, there was gas cans, motorcycles, lawnmowers. Refrigerators. Hot tubs, refrigerators. We yeah. found 86. Judging by the acres of lifeless mangroves here in the lower Florida Keys, you'd think Hurricane Irma hit yesterday. Wow, super strong winds right now. But it's been more than four years since the Category 4 storm ravaged the fragile ecosystem with 10 feet of storm surge. I think Hurricane Irma did something like 1,900 homes either completely destroyed or, or nearly destroyed. Um, those homes aren't gone. They're, uh, they're just wiped off that lot and they're in the water somewhere. So th those homes broken apart in pieces are in the mangroves? They're, and they're everywhere from Key Largo to Key West. For residents like Brian Vest, the ecological scars are a reminder of his paradise torn apart. He says a majority of the mangrove trees around his home in Big Pine were killed. A paradise he and his neighbors are trying to stitch back together. So basically no one's in charge of cleaning up the mess after Hurricane Irma. That is correct. I would say there are people um, accountable, but responsible is, is a different story. But you have to take care of your backyard. And uh, our backyard right now is the Florida Keys, and it's in real trouble. So I live here. I got to do what I can do to help. But I'm a part of thousands here in the Keys that are doing the same. And, and you've helped organize hundreds of those volunteers, the Conch Republic Marine yeah. Army. So you guys are an army of volunteers. We are. Thousands, actually. 3,620. Several days a week, Vest and members of his so-called army methodically comb every inch of shoreline, cleaning up the garbage. And although Vest says the shoreline is much cleaner, he feels Mother Nature still needs some assistance. I started saying to myself, you know, while we're cleaning them up, why aren't we replanting new mangroves? That's the fastest way to get recovery is to give Mother Nature a booster shot. Because they only grow one foot one, per year. One foot a year. So the longer we wait, the longer the, you know, the problem is. So the sooner the better. And that was the start of a partnership between Vest Army and the Rossen Brothers of West Palm Beach. He's got a huge volunteer base, and they're in one of the best mangrove ecosystems in the world in the Florida Keys, and they have a plethora of seeds, and not a lot of locations for those seeds to actually naturally recruit themselves. Can you get us the seeds? And I said, oh, I can get you seeds. <laughs> the propagules, we call them. Uh, and we collected 50,000 of them. Mangrove seeds need suitable soil to anchor into in order to grow into trees. That's where the Rossens come in. Seven years ago, they converted their backyard into a mangrove nursery and started a company called Mang with a simple model. Buy one shirt, plant one mangrove. So far, they planted over 350,000. You guys really are passionate about this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Our, our passion is driven by the understanding that these trees are, are the key to he our healthy ecosystems here in Florida. And without those healthy ecosystems, we can't have a healthy economy here. Mangroves are indeed an integral part of Florida's ecosystem. They act as nurseries for baby fish, improve water quality by filtering out sediment, and protect the coastline from storm surge. They also combat climate change. So mangroves absorb about 10 times the amount of carbon from the atmosphere than a traditional forest, right? So they must be a powerful tool to fight climate change. Right now, with over 50% of our coastal habitats gone or de in decline, we're seeing a huge amount of carbon being released into the atmosphere. When these ecosystems die, and if, imagine if we had 100% of those coastal ecosystems still around the world, well, the world would be stable. This summer, together with Brian Vest, the Rossens took hundreds of their mangrove trees back to the Florida Keys to plant them on Pigeon Key, an island devastated by Irma. These three men, along with their army of volunteers, are hoping to restore this critical support system so that the complex web of life here in the Keys can thrive. The Florida Keys and ocean ecosystems are a, um, a three-legged stool. You have the mangroves, which are the nurseries. You have the grass flats, which is like elementary school, and then the reef. 
which is college. So, so it's, it's a, a repeating cycle. A, this is a nursery. You lose this. It's a foundation. It's a building block for life here in the Keys. If you lose any one of those three, which is really critical because the grass flats are just as important as the mangroves, as is the reef. They all work very much hand in hand. And if uh, you take one leg out, that stool is now uh, just going to fall over. In the Florida Keys, Jeff Berardelli, CBS News.